Logistics. The route plan for this trip is located here with a planned total of 45 kilometers to be traveled. On the first night, we passed an old sheep station where we learnt a lot about the Chalwilla area. It was a sheep station and the history behind it was very interesting. The structure of the sheep station was not built fully from 1886 where it was created and they've rebuilt it to make it look like it did. Weather. The weather for the two trips was forecast for the start of the week to be cold but for the weather to heat up further on during the week. Unfortunately there was a storm that rolled through on the last night causing for muddy and wet conditions around camp and windy conditions when kayaking. It's quite windy at the moment, pretty cold and it looks like it's about to rain. Um, kind of found the weather a bit annoying over the trip because like it's been, it's been sunny and then all of a sudden it's turned cold and windy and then sunny again. My role in the planning dock. I created a list of risks, ranked them in order of danger, and then brainstormed ways of preventing these risks from occurring. Group dynamic is very good. There's been no arguments or decisions that have gone 50-50. We've all agreed upon something and then done it. All this is not here. hating them. We're oh, we're here. here. Yeah, we're, yeah oh, sorry, yeah, we're there. And that's going there. Uh, I, um, it's quite windy, isn't it? Yeah, oh, should we do that? That's loop. Isn't that what makes 18? Yeah. Um, Can you just explain what you just did? Just, just like, just say uh, where we went, um, what, what, what we're changing. So we've just passed campsite 24, and we've made the decision. We were thinking about going to campsite 15, but we decided not to do that because it's a longer way around. Yeah. Uh, for our paddle tomorrow. Uh, so we've decided to go to campsite 18, which is the furthest away, not going down the um, longer way. Monomon Creek. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can still stay on Chowilla, but still have a bit to paddle down. When filling out the skill order of the first kayaking exhibition we went on, it is evident I labelled a lot of skills in the high and medium markings. It is evident that I was confident in my personal self-reliance, but I was very, very critical of applying and understanding navigation and route plan, and also with proper packing for a kayaking trip. I believe, however, that if I were to fill another skill order for kayaking, everything would be in the medium to high bracket due to my improvement of skills over the outdoor ed course.